Hi, this is Tom Mira from World Class Coaching with another in our series of animated drills. These ideas are specific to the game of futsal, but they apply just as easily to whether it's indoor or outdoor, any game model, any model of play that involves building out of the back. And so what we've worked on uh, with my teams is building out of the back from a box formation. We generally play in a diamond and I teach the kids the kind of the, the futsal positions, talking about, you know, the fixo being the defensive player, the, the left ala being what you would call a midfield player outdoors or the right ala and then the pivo. So we talk about those positions and we play in a diamond when we have possession, but we always open up into a box when the goalkeeper has either a goal clearance or they just catch the ball in the run of play. And we slide out to these positions so the pivo, or sorry, the fixo could go out to the left and then the right ala drops and then the pivo opens up out to the right side. So we basically still have a diamond, don't we? But we've just, you know, turned it on its side in order to open up space. And so now what we'll do here is, you know, be able to build from the back. Now when teams, you know, if a team is playing a diamond against us, you know, this is, this is fine because it gives us a 2v1 up front and we can play from there. If a team, if we do this often, which, you know, as the game goes on, if we play like this and we uh, play the ball out to their feet and then this player opens up and this player shows in the gap and this player stays wide for a switch, then the other team finds it difficult to keep us from building out of the back because we've always got two options. We can play through, in which case we beat both of these defenders. And now this player, this, this player that's now the ala basically but they were a pivo moving up on the outside and now we're 2v1 against their fixo so as soon as we do that a couple of times or if we've played a team before what we'll start to see is we'll start to see them switch into a box formation oftentimes and so now they'll match us up one for one and my instructions for my goalkeeper then are to look for 1v1s farther up the field so we'll have a player check into this space to try to receive the ball, or if the goalkeeper can play a ball to them in the air, you know, now we've beaten both of these defenders. We're in behind them and we're 2v2 going forward. That's one way to do it. But I also want the players to consistently be, you know, building out of the back. So if a team starts to do this, then we'll switch back to our diamond. So then we'll have the players switch and then just stay in those traditional diamond positions and be able to be able to play from there we'll just get this player off and get a more appropriate player uh, out on the field for that spot okay so now this player can be we can play to the fixo's feet and now we're uh, basically 3v2 here if we get pressure and you know from the sides like this now we can easily split them and play through if they crowd the middle or if they go back to their diamond, then we can bring players back in order to find space on the outside. So basically adjusting it. And so the players on the field, ideally, you want them talking about these switches. So going from a box back to a diamond. And another thing that we found that's worked really well is if a team adjusts with us is to go ahead and build a line of three in the back. So we'll be three in the back, and now we leave one up front. So now we're definitely 3v2 here. And just as importantly, we can find our pivo up here with a long throw through the middle if they leave that. Oftentimes you'll see them step a player in front and keep a player behind, you know, double teaming front and back to make it more difficult to play this player. But that's fine for us because we're still 3v2 in the back. And so we can still work to build from the back, playing wide, showing into spaces, dropping to support because we can't can't play back to the goalkeeper. You know, outdoor we wouldn't have to drop this player. We just have the goalkeeper slide over and provide the support there and then we'd still kind of keep our balance of the field. But not being able to play back to the goalie after they've touched it, we've got to slide this player over. We want to keep this player wide to keep the balance of the field and give us the opportunity to switch it. But there's those basic three shapes that we use when we're building from the back. So, I always start the team off in that box that we discussed. And then if the other team decides to match up here, and I still want the players to build from the back, so I don't want to just throw long each time. Not that there's anything wrong with going long occasionally. If we can draw them into over committing into one area of the field and then play into the other, nothing wrong with that. But if we do want to build, then we'll slide into that, and I'll, I'll make it easier. We'll just slide this player here. 
will slide into that diamond formation. Or then if we want to be more effective and then really play from feet here, then we can always build our line of three and force them to adjust. If they pull this player up, that's my favorite when they do that, because if they're going to commit three players here, then we're certainly going to play over the top and play into our, our pivot player, our pivo, and make runs off of that, that player because we could easily end up 3v1 going the other way. Or, you know, if nothing else, we're 1v1 going forward, which, you know, we're taking our attacking player against one defender. I like those chances. So those are the three shapes that we use uh, with futsal. You could definitely use that, as I said, to adapt to building out of the back from just about any shape, any formation, uh, whether it's 7v7, 9v9, or 11v11. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on these ideas. You can leave them in the comments below and uh, give it a try with your own teams.